welcome again to Perceptions with the Dialogue. It's been a um, nice day, and I'm sure you're having a nice day wherever you are also. Um, welcome again. This is the part two of our teaching on the altered view, having a different perception about life and how to live life with the in-depth understanding that what got you to where you are now is not enough to get you to where you need to be. You need to improve on your character to be able to hold on to hope. And um, we had in the first video where we looked into our perception of failure and one learning I took away and I sure we all took something away is for us to know that failure is not a, it is not a, it, it, it shouldn't be taken as a destination we should see it as a learning process or a learning curve in our lives and something that just kept occurring to me after the first video which I, uh, I would like to just say is there is always a way out no one can say i've tried everything because there is only what i would say is don't give up it might just be one way keep on that part keep eliminating all the odds by doing if it fails just keep on until you find the one way out uh today i'd like us to just jump into it as this is the part two of um our video, The Altered View. And I hope you enjoy it and you've taken something away from the first one. So, how do we then proceed if failure is a learning curve? On our path, on our journey to success, what do we then do? Success we know. We all want to be successful. We all want to be there. But we've said there is no. We can. It could be simple, but no one promises us an easy journey. Success. It could. You could get there easily. Simply. It's as simple as saying it. Success. I am successful. It's a successful day. Yeah. But the path to success is not easy. And many a times we always come to that juncture where. Our successes become our areas of plateau or status quo, and we refuse to grow. Because men need to understand that new things happen every day. We all, all attain new heights of success every day. But we always plateau when we get to our, our, our new levels of success. We get too comfortable. We get too... I've just done this and we just, and we just stay in our shell. But to get to the real you, you need to continue to grow. You need to continue to push through the resistance. Rather than just staying and just being comfortable, we need to refocus and bed and take the learning from the path to success and keep using it to push through. It's like a ceiling. When you get to a new level, there's a ceiling. When you get to a new floor, there's a ceiling. And for you to move on, you need to keep pushing through. To get to a new floor, you need to keep pushing through. Until you get to the height of it, you keep pushing through through the, through the resistance. You can't stop now. You can't give up now. You see, it's not the, the issue here is not the lack of resources. Most of the time, is the, is the lack of resourcefulness in us that stops us from pushing through the resistance. It's just like a new plant, a new, a new, a new seed in the ground. It dies, it buds, and then it pushes through the soil to come out in a blue zone. That is how we should be. That step is just the beginning. You need to move on to the next step. When you get there, don't stay there. Keep moving on. Because they say that beyond the sky should be the limit. And 
and that's that's what I want to take us to today. I want us to now take the first lesson, which is failure is a learning process, not a destination, and move it into saying, yes, even when I get to new heights, I do a new thing, and you will see it. If we get new packages, if we get new levels of life, if we keep going on, we need to come to a place to say, yes, I get a resistance. I, I trade the market often. I regularly trade. In, in market trading, stock trading, forex trading, you, you have what they call support and resistance. You can't always stay on the you can't always just stay on the support because it's 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 relaxing. You need to keep pushing through the resistance. The resistance is above and and the sky is the limit or beyond the sky is the limit. You need to, you need to keep pushing up. And that's what I want. I want us to see how we can see success now as a as a process for growth by pushing through the resistance and taking the learnings from failure and moving moving it on. To the next level of success so what's our biggest challenge on the path of growth and on the path of success where we embed all these learnings from the failures of life what's the best what's the biggest challenge that we have our comfort zone this reminds me I, i'm just thinking this is just a thought. We, we all know about the creation process from, from the Bible. And uh, I just want to just draw a bit of point that just occurred to me in there. Out of the chaos that was seen in the book of Genesis, that we are, uh, that the first book in the Bible, you know, out of that, we could see clearly that it took God six days to create everything. And I can say confidently that he has never created anything else since then. Everything was part of the work of the six days. He, he didn't relax out through that six days. He put processes in place. He kept going. He put, he put, he put systems. He put, he, he, he put every, the seed in the ground to reproduce itself. He understood his priorities. He didn't rest until he got there. But we get too comfortable and that's the biggest challenge. Another story of a man occurs to me now. He probably might be the only one that's walked on water. It was in a boat, but there was a storm. And then he saw someone coming on the water and he said, bid me to come to you. If he hadn't taken the step out of the boat to walk on water, maybe we would have no one recorded to have walked on water. So what are we saying in essence? You need to take some risk. You need to push through the resistance. You need to let go of the comfort. Push ahead. You don't know what is out there until you go out there. You don't know what's out there until you go out there. You, you, you wanted to do a new training, upskill yourself, but you've said, ah, no. You've been praying, but no actions to back it. Uh, there, there is this um, book I was reading recently. It's, it, it's, it's um, called Meditations by Aurelius, Marcus Aurelius. A Greek philosopher, and I think he was a, he was a king or something. In, but what, something that struck me in there is the words that we speak is not enough. It's the things we do to complement the, the words. The actions we take is what makes life nowhere truthful. Because you could you could speak all the words, but until you start doing, until until you take actions to back the prayers, until you go out there to take those trainings, until you go out there to this this video itself is an action of taking to just go out there and start it. Just go out there and do it. Oh yes, I would like to go to the gym. I know yeah, many of us now lockdown maybe at home you want to jog around you only so many things you want to learn it's time to step out of your comfort zone take the risk because the reward comes with the risk so let's 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 just take this a step further then as much as i, I um wanted it to come up one by one it's it's just shown everything there but it's in your hand. It's in your hand. For you to be successful, it's in your hand. You are the key constant factor in your journey 
in your growth process and in the, in the path to success. So my question to you today is, who do you choose to be? Who do you choose to be? Because the moment you know who you choose to be, you can then begin to chat your way to success. But you need to break through first, defining who you are. But when you finish defining yourself, we then go, everyone then goes into that, can I really do it? You see, we get, we get engulfed with fear. It's, it's, it's false evidences that appear as if they are real. It tells you that, oh, you're, you're not born to succeed. You can't do as good as the other people. And something else that I read in the same book I just said is, it said, if anyone could do it, then what stops you from doing it? I remember years ago when we were growing up, and then we, if we don't do well in classes and we go home and say to our parents, oh, this is our, our scorecard. And they say, the, the, the successful kids in your class, do they have double heads? Do they listen more? Or what, what's different from them? So what I'm saying is, fear engulfs every, everyone. You know, we just get cowed up in our fear, in that zone. Now, but... When you define yourself, do you want to stay long in there? Do you want to stay in there? It's like, if you get knocked down, you need to stand up. That's the, that's the power. That's the power of the self. That's the power of the spirit. That's the power that we want, that, that, that needs to come true. So you get engulfed in fear. Don't stay there for too long. Yeah, we could see during the um, the start of the pandemic, people ordering tissue papers and then ordering food and all the sorts. It's part of the fear. It's part of the fear. But we need to break through from that. We need to come through from that. We need to search ourselves. We need to stop sharing or searching for news that gets us limited by the fear of things we see. Because we need to move to the next level. And I would say make today the day one of moving to the next zone. Don't say I'll do it one day, but make today the day one of it. That day one, I'm moving out. And this is it. I need to move to the next. And when you leave the, the, the fear zone, you go into the learning zone. Because then you begin to make plans for yourself. Then you begin to say, yes, I need to, this is my vision board. This is who I am. This is how I need to get there. You start learning new skills. In the learning zone, you start preparing for opportunities. Because success is not by luck. It's a process that you need to prepare for. And when the opportunity comes, it just connects. So the learning zone is where you know, your opportunities meet your preparation and then success comes in. It's, it's, it's a place where you revalue, you recoup yourself with super valuable opportunities. All preparing you for the future. Now, things are changing. And as part of what we said in the first video, prepare for the change. Prepare for the change. Don't, don't be the backbone. Don't be left behind. So, you know, you need to just relax a bit. You just need to relax a bit and let go of the control. You cannot control the outcome. No. Because the outcome of the pandemic is not in your hands. You can only control yourself. You can only control the outcomes of your own person. So they've said, oh, lockdown, no one goes out. You can't control other people from going out, but you can stay indoors and just keep yourself safe. You are in control of yourself. So let go of the control of the old world, trying to tell everyone, trying to fix everyone, and fix yourself first. Hold back, control your own self, you know, put that, put, put the control measure around you, the boundaries around you, let it work for you, and then it begins to show true. So let go of control on other people, let, you know, start learning, recoup re yourself, understand that you need to prepare for success, you need to, you need to, you need to seek opportunities by preparing for it. And then you move on to the next zone, which is the growth zone, which is a success zone. A zone where one, one or two things that are very key in there is appreciation and gratitude. You might be wondering, oh, but when you begin to grow, you begin to, you begin to value more. You begin to value life more. You begin to appreciate for the life you're living. You see, you don't cost the life you live. If you're in a growth zone, but if you're in a fear zone, you, be, you can curse anything because it's fearful. You don't want to go out. You, you see someone walking, you're cursing. But the moment you move, you're in a growth zone, you're appreciative of life. Right in the learning to the growth zone, you're appreciative of life. You're showing some gratitude. 
it just opens up, it just opens you up into a new world of relaxation. And then you begin to understand, you, you, be, you begin to walk in that process seamlessly. You see, life is like a, life shouldn't be a waiting room, you see. Life shouldn't be a waiting room. Life is a big stage. You can't just watch it pass. You need to partake. You see, you need to stop waiting for things to happen and make things happen. Because the old system is not enough anymore. We need a new system. The old system that the schools have been teaching us, that you just have to work and retire, pay student loan. You know, that simple shipage, finish your university, finish your learning, go to work in, just go work. It's not enough anymore. You need to start thinking. You need to start getting ready for what's out there, for, for preparing yourself. It's a sinking boat. You need to get out and, and out of the comfort of just, you know, trying to not to sink with the boat. The reality is that many people are stressed. We can't rest. We even are feeling guilty to rest. We feel hopeless at times. We feel worried at times. So anxious and embarrassed, maybe. But we need to know that we need to do more. We need to just push ourselves beyond our comfort zone. You need to spin. You need to spin the wheel of change and just spin it around. You know, there's this there's this stuff where you go into casinos or you go into where you play and just spin things around and it just keeps going and then it stops on what you want or something and then you just need to spin the wheel of change. You need to spin the wheel of change. So let's just say, what, because we know that what got us here won't get us there. So what exactly is it we need to challenge ourselves? Don't, don't put yourself in a box. Life won't wait for you. You need to make things happen. That's the wheel of change. I just wanted to put it there, the wheel of change. I, I came across this while I was doing um, some uh, training, you know, learning things for myself. And, and this just occurred to me that this is good for us to, to help us embed change in our life to help us understand how we can challenge ourselves a bit more. It takes a bit of work from yourself. No one is going to change you. If the control for yourself is in your hand, then you need to press the remote. You can't hand over the remote of your life to someone else. The remote of your life should stay in your hand for you to, you know, make those changes. So how then do we put this into, into, act, into active work for our lives? How do we then start the process of change? You, you want to create, when you ask yourself the question, who am I? What do I want? You start creating a new view of yourself. You start creating a new view of yourself. Start asking the right questions so that you can get the right response. Quality questions bet quality answers or responses. So you need to start reinventing yourself, creating yourself. What do I, who am I? And then you then go to the other side, which is the preserving. What do I need to keep as part of the old me? that will be valuable for the future me. As part of the new brand you're creating for yourself, what do I need to keep? Do I, then after you understand what you need to keep, whatever you know, anger, malice, bitterness, fear, jealousy, those things that pull people down, you can discard them. You, can, you begin to eradicate, you begin to reduce them, you begin to take them out, you begin to push them out, you begin to stop them consciously. Now, when you merge what you've preserved of your old self that works, that might need maintaining or improving, you add that to the, to, to, the, to, to, to the new brand and you begin to accept yourself. You begin to make peace with yourself. So you need that four, 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 that four wheel process of change, that wheel of change. I'm creating a new brand for myself. I'm preserving the things that work the joy, the happiness, the faith, the can-do attitude, I'm preserving those. And then I'm, I'm, I'm just discarding everything that has to do with bitterness, everything that has to do with cursing, everything that has to do with, you know, stress, pressure. I just discard that. And now for my new brand, I'm accepting, I'm coming to times, I'm coming to peace with this. I would like to just wrap it up there and just say, success. Is a growth process. Don't wait. Get into life. Spin the wheel of change and become the new you. Thank you and see you shortly. Bye.